Hey guys, it's me. This is a bit of a nothing burger of a video of just uh, me randomly just calling out these scammers, right? So some of these chats are a bit longer. A lot of them are super short and we're going to be jumping between some accounts. So first of all, we'll be at Facebook. Meet someone called Mike Chabot, Chabot? I don't know. I don't know who he is. Apparently he is famous on social media to do something. I have no idea. He messaged me on Facebook. Hello, Juliana. Love her. I said, I'm sorry, but who are you? Do I know you? Now, keep in mind, this was back in December 2023. So it comes back in January. Hi, I'm really glad and very sure you are a big fan. I appreciate all the support you have been offering. To which I said, so not reading what I'm writing. Nice. To which he then vanished until this morning. Hello! I'm so sorry about my late response, sweetheart. Pardon my manners. To which I responded seven months late. And you still haven't explained who you're meant to be. I believe we can have more good conversation to get to know ourselves more better, if you don't mind, said Mike, who I still had no idea who he was. But I have no idea what you're saying. Why am I meant to be a fan and who exactly are you? And why are you messaging me seven months later? And I showed him in the part of the conversation where he said he was a fan, uh, where I was a fan. To which my absolute fucktard came back with, Hey everyone, I wanted to take a moment to apologise for my late responses lately. I know many of my fans have reached out with messages, comments and questions and I'm truly sorry it's taken me so long to get back to you. To which I went, who is everyone? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Thank you for being an amazing community and I'm grateful for your continued love and encouragement, said ChatGPT. I went, ah, ChatGPT bot. Awesome. In response to that whole thank you for being an amazing community, I said again, just nonsense. Raindrops on roses and planetary mushy peas. At which point he saw that and was active for a while and I went, what, you exhausted your AI chat nonsense? Didn't generate anything for you that makes any sense? Ugh, you muggles are hilarious. At which point he blocked me. So that was just a bit of an opener. Now we move to Instagram to my newly unbarred account. So, I want you to meet Emma David, who hit me up last week. Hi, I'm Emma, assistant to Billy Joe. I am here on his behalf to select special fans who has been supporting him on social media by posting, liking, following and promoting his content online. Thanks for all you do. How are you doing today, keyboard saxophone? And for some reason... One of those movie reel clackers. Who knows, right? I said, you're not though, are you? In response to her being affiliated to the great Billy Joe, guys. Ignoring that, my scammer said, during this season, season of global pandemic and global unrest, Billy Joel, finally getting the name right, would love to personally reach out to his fans who have supported him all through the years, either by posting, liking, commenting or promoting his contents online as a means of showing love for his musics, in plural. To which I said, what global pandemic? The one that happened three years ago? And in response to you're not though, are you? Referring to her being affiliated to Billy Joe. She said, yes, I am with him. Exactly the one that happened three years ago. Referring to the pandemic. To which I said, so your message was nonsense then. So I showed where this Muppet had written during the season of global pandemic. To which my scammer says, luckily your nice comment on his post has qualified you to be selected among the few fans to get a personal appreciation from Billy Joel himself. To which I said, which comment would that be then? But my scammer would not be deterred by such simple things as common sense, logic or reason or questions. And continued with, if you are interested, you can simply drop your email address so that it can be added to the list of special fans who are going to receive a special appreciation mail from Billy Joel himself. Thank you. I said, so we're just ignoring the obvious. Fine. And sent one of my throwaway emails. Thanks for your love and support through the years, continued my idiot. 
shown to Billy Joel. It's your prayers that has kept him going. Thank you. To which I very simply said, I'm sure. Funny I can't find your name on his list of staff. But again, completely impervious to anything at all. My scammer continued, Your email has been added to the list of fans who will receive an appreciation mail from Billy Joe himself. Please ensure to respond to it in other... Show, to show gratitude for the time he took out to personally appreciate you, setting me up with that usual scammer nonsense of how we're supposed to be so grateful to have random people hit us up. To which I just simply put, lucky me, right? So now we're going to go to Gmail, uh, Google Chat, where Billy Joe messaged me, and then we're going to return to this one. So here we are with Billy Joe the great singer, on Gchat. Hello, nice meeting you on this platform. Now, keep in mind, there was literally less than a minute, I think, between me giving my email address and the same scammer hitting me up. I said, hi, are you a fan of my music? He asks. I said, sporadic, the earlier stuff anyway. Okay, said my scammer. Which of my music is your favourite? To which I said Rebel was great, which is there's no such song. And so was Saigon. Such a love song. What's your favourite? But this scammer wasn't going to actually engage in chat. And in response to Rebel was great and so was Saigon. Saigon being a love song. Oh, so beautiful, said my scammer. And I don't know if you finished singing the music as you know that music teach a lot of people things like I told you the more we grow, the more we learn. Thanks for your love and support. It's a thing of joy having the best fans in the world, whatever that means. To which I said, sorry, what? Please write that again in English. What does if you finish singing the music mean? And you've not told me anything, so most of that paragraph doesn't make sense. Sorry, but are you getting your chats mixed up? To which my Muppet went away for a while and came back with this lovely change in font. Hello, Julia. I want to use this opportunity to say thanks for your love and support. It's a thing of joy having the best fans in the world. He was determined just to make these declarations rather than actually conversing like adults would. To which I said, nice font change. To which my scammer, ignoring that, said, what state are you chatting from? I said, state, New South Wales. And in response again to that, hello, Julia, I said, and I don't know why you felt the need to say hi twice, but you do you. To which he said, with another change in font, I messaged you in confidence. I hope you'll keep it that way. I don't do this, but I suspect you're a nice person. He was determined to get that script. And as he was copy pasting it, I'd say he was using a laptop. Uh, it was just coming up in bold font. I said, another font change, lucky me, a special one I can see. And completely impervious to sarcasm, my idiot said, in the same font, Julia, my goal is to relate peacefully with my supporter on this platform, say it with me guys, while upholding 100% respect for each and everyone's support of my works. Only respect for his works, guys. Ugh, the arrogance, honestly. To which I said, yes, yes, you do that, Mr. Joe. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just put the glass down now, and I will tell you why I said that. It's because at the same time, I went back and managed his fake manager, i.e. Billy Joe. So, I said, yes, Billy Joe messaged me. I think he's drunk again. Yep, he's drunk. I thought he was sober now, but I'm sad to see he's not. I don't know why I'm telling you. You'd, you'd know better than me. I hope his wife knows he's back on the booze. I'll leave you be now, which my Muppet saw, right, and immediately after I wrote, I think he's drunk again, sent that stupid message with the changed font. So we go back to Gchat, where things went downhill very fast. And in response to being told to put the glass down, he goes, I hope you realise I'm writing to you in confidence. I detest third party, so you must never speak to anyone about it. Otherwise, you'll lose my trust as a fan on my Instagram page, said no celebrity ever. And him not really paying attention. Note the font was still the same. To which I responded, insert paragraph here. 
Have you stopped copy pasting paragraphs now? And are you going to actually speak like an adult? Or is that too much to ask for? To which my scammer came back with normal font. Anyways, I don't have to prove myself to anyone, he said, apropos of nothing. I hope you don't stop supporting my music. To which I went, nobody asked you to. What a strange thing to say. Have a good day, Julia, he said, throwing all his toys out of the pram, at which point I thought I'd call him out. To which I just sent dot, 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 dot. And then laughing emoji, I said, get a real job. You're so bad at this dude. You couldn't even get the name right, laughing my ass off. At which point he vanished. But to be fair, it was quite late in the evening in Nigeria. So I won't delete in case he does come back. They sometimes do at Google Chat. It's like they forget what happened before. <laughs> On to the next. Now I want you to meet Instagram user Carl Urban, who obviously I called out immediately. These all happened this morning concurrently um, because my account was effectively let out of jail and I could only focus on a couple at a time. So I got rid of what I deemed to be the superfluous idiots. So I have noticed your interaction with my post over time. And I want to personally express my gratitude to you, said my fake Carl. I created this private account to nonect with you, my fan and everyone who supports my career. I look forward to hearing from you. Much love. To which I said, okay, glad you're nonecting with people. To which my absolute Muppet said, yeah, it is important that I connect with my fans as a little way to show my gratitude and appreciation for all the supports I get from my fans who have supported my career all through these years of my career. I also think this will enable me put in more efforts in becoming a more better person. <laughs> Love heart, I'm sorry, but the English is just getting worse and worse with this younger generation of scammers. To which I said, okay. Better in what way exactly? As he's talking about, you know, bettering himself. No human is perfect, declares my Carl. So I get to know what ways I can do better in my career and personality with time when I keep up with the conversations with my fan on here, he pronounces. I said, I have no idea what your personality is like. You're better off asking your friends if you're looking for some sort of cathartic self actualization. To which my idiot, who didn't understand a word I'd said, went, ha ha ha, you cannot know about my personality because you don't know me too well. Are you even a fan of Carl Urban? And FYI, I can't stand people who refer to themselves in the third person, so that triggered me. To which I responded, nobody knows who you are inside except the people close to you. What a nonsensical statement to make. Why do you refer to yourself in the third person? It's really pretentious. I guess I am now seeing why you're looking for self-improvement and development. And in response again to that ha-ha-ha, because I couldn't help myself and I wanted to prod, I said, do you know the meaning of acting and why the characters an actor plays are not who they are in real life? Because I'm really wondering now if you do. Referring to him saying, you don't know who I am, how, you know, because you might, you can't be a fan. To which he says, smile, giving himself away instantly. You must have gotten my message wrong. What time is it where you live? To which I said, you said I didn't know you because I, quote, didn't know you well, unquote. Followed by asking me if I'm a fan, referring to yourself in the third person, an obnoxious habit. It's 8.15 a.m. To which my Muppet said, oh, I guess you did not wake up from the right side of the bed this morning. I will allow you start your morning and maybe get back to you later, okay? Thumbs up, bye. At which point I just went, oh, did Moogle get triggered that he was called out? Night, night. You're not smart enough for this. At which point he completely blocked me and he's now Instagram user. Oh, well, told you guys it was a nothing burger. Hi Julia, how are you doing? I hope you would believe it's me. Hi Julia, how are you doing? 
I hope you would believe it's me. Hi, Julia. How are you doing? I hope you would believe it's me. Hi, Julia. How are you doing? Oh my god, it's I hope you would believe it's me. Hi. <laughs> that was it. So after I received that lovely little gem, I went, oh my god, what happened to the accent and the voice? Oh my god. To which he said, bye, just be safe. Love heart, not realizing at all what was wrong. To which I sent lots of laughing emojis. I said, thanks for the terrible video. I'll be sure to share it online as a warning. At which point he obviously blocked me and I went, already recorded it, dude. Deleting it won't make a difference because he went back and deleted it. I'm so sorry about the football playing in the background. But that was effectively the chat before that. So that was a little bit of fun this morning. On to the next. Now I want you to meet Kevin Richard Russell Official, who used to be Frank Sinatra, who I just wasn't in the mood for, right? He asked to follow me. I said, I'm sorry, but who is this exactly? How are you doing? He said. I said, I'm fine, but who is this, please? At Sinatra, came the response. This is my other page. I said, you're Frank Sinatra. For real? Yes, it's me, he said. I really want to appreciate you because without you, all my fans, I won't be where I am today. Thank you once more. I want you to consider me a friend, okay? To which I went, well, that's special. Though, to be fair, you were deceased, not because of us fans, which the Muppet love hearts. I said, that's amazing. I'm glad you're feeling better. Where are you from and how long have you been a fan? said my scammer. I said, oh, I'm from Australia, but it was my grandmother who was the fan, dead Frank. She played the music, but I saw the films when I was a kid. Everyone did. And then I went, hello, dead Frank, don't want to chat anymore? And just sent lots of laughing emojis because at this point my scammer had realised I called him dead Frank. Unlike the rest, this one was marginally smarter I don't even know if he's blocked me from his profile, to be fair. No, he's still Kevin Richard Russell. And look, idiot left his location on. What an idiot. I didn't even get a chance to call that one out. But, you know, after that um, Frank Sinatra on Facebook, I just, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't do another one. Now I want you to meet Teddy Swims. One of many, unfortunately, Teddy's touring my country at the moment so obviously everyone that's hitting up his Instagram is copying these. So I want you to meet Teddy, obviously. Hi, he said. I said, hello. How are you? I said, I'm fine. It's nice meeting you. Where are you from? I said, sure, Australia. That's awesome. How long have you been my fan? I said, I only heard about you like a month ago, to be fair. I'm not prolific on social media, so I didn't see all your lives or social activity. To which he says, I understand. What is your favourite song? I said, I don't know, The Door, maybe? Oh, <laughs> came the non-impressed response. I said, I don't have the album. Thanks for choosing to listen to my songs, against all contrary evidence. I said, sure. And in response to, I don't have the album, he goes, you can get it if you want. I said, I know I can. Does your husband also listen to my songs? Fishing and not at all in a, an obvious ma manner, not at all. I said, no, I'm married. Oh, really? Said my scammer, seeing dollar signs. I said, not yet. Do you have kids? He said. I said, oh, no, of course not. To which my grunting scammer, who we've had before, goes... <sighs> I said, well, you don't either. Why am I meant to? How old are you? He asks. I said, 32. And in response to, why am I meant to have kids? He goes, wow, for real? I said, didn't thank you for a misogynist. To which my idiot who doesn't understand misogyny goes, that's true. Did you really want to be with me? Completely rushing the scam. I said, sorry, What? What on earth are you babbling about? Are you drunk? In response to being asked, did I want to be with him? What do you mean? He said, instantly offended. I said, just because I like a singer doesn't mean I automatically am in love with them. Are you for real? I understand, came the very, very disgruntled response. I said, I don't think you do. 
I'm only asking. I love that they're so unironically upset, guys. I said, why would any sane human ask that five minutes into a chat? If you're in love with my songs, definitely you're in love, isn't it? <laughs> I said, no singer ever or any sensible human being. So there you go, guys. If you love a particular song, you must love the man. To which, and then in response to why would any sane human ask that five minutes into the chat, he goes, I'm here at my leisure. Don't take it for granted. And in response to, if you're in love with my songs, definitely you're in love, isn't it? I said, who said I was in love with your songs? And in response to, I'm here at my leisure, don't take it for granted. I said, uh-huh. Now that we've established that you're arrogant, rude and uh, deluded, who are you really? Because I know where Teddy is right now. Do you? Hurry and Google, little man. Didn't do your research before sending messages. Tisk tisk tisk, amateur. And that, if I checked the time, was because he was on stage in Sydney. And after that, he poddled off. I don't think he's blocked. No, he hasn't blocked me. I'm still probably going to delete it. I don't think he's going to come back. But anyway, maybe he will. <laughs> we'll see. Now meet the last one of this nothing burger of a video. Another Teddy Swims. Hasn't blocked me. Have a look at the account. It was based in Turkey. Sorry. Uh, he's now since removed it, I think. Um, oh, and he got rid of all my... Co no, some of my comments are still here. Yep. So I went ahead and commented. On every one of his posts, you're a fake and a phony, you're a scammer. But he messaged me nonetheless. Now, this account has 100% hit me up before. Um, like I said in some of my earlier videos, you start to recognize them just by the, the uh, amount of followers they have and where their location. And he definitely had, I'm sure he had his location on somewhere else, or maybe that was one of my others. So, this is how this went this morning. Hello, dear. How are you doing? After I commented on every one of these posts. So can I ask why you're messaging me? I'm fine. Of course. I just want to appreciate you for your effort towards my career. What effort? I have no idea. To which I said, uh -huh, if you say so, who were you last month? I mean, sorry, in April when he changed the name last. I didn't understand, dear. He said. I said, well, dear. This account has had nine usernames since September last year. Didn't you see all the sweet comments I left on your account? Oh, I'm sad if you didn't. To which my idiot, who doesn't read the first half of the message and only sees the last part, goes, Really? I said, Yes, really. Why are you sad? asked my cabbage. I said, Oh, your IQ is your shoe size, isn't it? And in response to why are you sad, I said, you didn't see my comments. You only like the pictures. Why did you have to comment such thing on my post? Having finally gone and checked what I said. To which I said, I didn't like any photos on your profile. I comment what I know to be true, dear. Your English is so bad, dude. And nine name changes. Are you new at this? I didn't want you, uh, I didn't know want you talking about, he said, exactly proving me right. I said, case in point, are you married, he said, trying to, uh, you know, pray against pray that all this was going to go away. I said, wow, to which he said, yes, wow. I said, you're really struggling, aren't you? Did you hit your head? To which my absolute potato said, yes, because I need something. To which I said, I thought so. I'm sure you do, apart from a lobotomy, I'm guessing. To which he said, where are you from? Why are you so concerned about this? I said, why am I concerned about this dodgy account? Oh, my God, I'm from Gallifrey. To which he said, it's Doddy account. Why are oh, still texting me? <laughs> to which I said, a Doddy account. Because I find you muggles amusing. The terrible English. The lack of knowledge of how things work in the West. The terrible format sent. It's hilarious. 
I said, you're clearly not having any luck getting clients, or you would have blocked me by now. To which he said, I think you lack sense. I said, I think you lack morals and ethics, but here we are. And in response to you're clearly not having any luck getting clients, or you would have blocked me, my idiot scammer said, I will not block you. Go ahead, I do want you like okay. Whatever that meant. To which I said, what does I do want you like okay mean? At which point he has poddled off. I'm wondering if he's going to come back. He hasn't obviously blocked me and it's like the middle of the night. So, you know, we'll see. He may or may not come back. Um, Let me have a look if I have one more idiot. I might do. Here's a weird one. So Patrick Swayze for chat wanted me to join the group, right? And I wanted to find out whether this was someone pretending to be Patrick Swayze or whether they'd figured out the man was dead. So I said, hi, I join your group, but you don't post enough content. Sorry, because they invited me to follow them. Obviously, they're doing um, follower gathering. Scammers do this. Once he gets enough followers, he'll change the name. I said, who is this, please, when he didn't get back to me? He comes back to me the next day. This is not only a group. This account is monitored by my management of Mr. Patrick Swayze. There will be a movie lunch about him and also we are giving out free tickets. I said, you said my management of Mr. Swayze. What does that even mean and what film? And the head of Swayze management. My name is Mr. Anton. It is an honour writing to you. It will be an honour to see you there. To which I said, see me where? Hello, see me where? To which he said, I will write to you in a while, my dear. I have to continue a podcast. To which I said, uh uh-huh, sure you do. Hello, he came back and I said, yes. Which he saw on Tuesday, didn't respond. So I hit him up again this morning. Said nothing more to say. How strange. Let's see if the account's still up. Yes, so dedicated to Patrick Swayze fans only. Um, Yeah, so that's why I think he started off thinking it was going to be Patrick Swayze and I think he realised that Patrick Swayze was dead. Now I want you to meet Riley Morgan, now Instagram user, because they've blocked me and that's because I wanted to argue with them. Hey there, good day, are you a fan of Simon Pegg? I said marginally. Are you? Well, I'm Riley, an online publicist for Simon Pegg. I'm here to create an awareness that Simon Pegg would like to entertain some fans with a dialogue section and getting to know more about his work in recent years. I said, so you'd be listed in his publicly available list of staff then, wouldn't you? Dot, 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 dot. To which my idiot said, yes, and Peg is hosting a session for all of his fans to talk and have reviews about his works in recent years. This session is scheduled to be held at his Telegram handle created solely for this purpose. So I thought I'd lie a little. I said, so I'll check for your name on his list of staff. And when it doesn't come back to anyone real, what then? And in response to the session, uh, session, session, session being on Telegram, I lied and said he doesn't have Telegram. He said that last week during that BBC special. Now, Simon doesn't have Telegram, but there also wasn't a BBC special. I said, which you don't know about, apparently. Hmm. To which my scammer said, he's trying to reach out to some of his lucky fans. Now he has made a Telegram page dedicated for that. I said, but he didn't. You didn't see the special, did you? The one on fake managers and online scams. Yes, I saw it, said my scammer, who saw an imaginary BBC special. I said, then you'd know what he said. Him, Tom, all the rest. To which my scammer said, oh, yes. I said, there you go. So why are you saying he's gone against his own words and gone and created an account with the app he himself called the scammer app? At which point he gave up and blocked me. So there you go. I told you this was a bit of a nothing burger of a a video. And we'll finish up with a quick Teddy Swims as well. Seeing as it's nothing but Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. If I see another Teddy, I'll vomit. So, hello, I saw your beautiful comments. So I decided to text you here with my private page. So how are you doing? 
Let me just check. Hasn't blocked me for usernames. Did he even bother to take my comments off? No, he didn't. So as you can see, scam alert, scam alert, right? So I said, did you now? What time is it where you are right now? And what time did you send that text? Answer me that, which the Muppet love hearts. Because if you see the timestamp, it's at three in the morning. He was in Australia at this time. Teddy swims. Hey, what's up, Julia? He says, completely ignoring the question. I said, so can't answer because you don't know, shaking my head. Good to see sarcasm and irony don't go right over your head. It's okay. It's 10.23 a.m. here, said my scammer, who had no idea where Teddy was, to which I sent laughing emojis, said, busted, you have no idea where Teddy is right now, and sent an uh, insane amount of laughing emojis. Where do you think I'm right now? said my unironically offended scammer. I said, you, you're in West Africa pretending to be from America. Teddy, he's not in America at the moment. I know, because I know where Teddy is and you don't. And sent laughing emojis. I said, you muggles don't even do basic research. And it's so pathetic and lazy that it's insulting. To which my good-humoured scammer went, LOL, are you kidding me? To which I went, no, I'm not. It's really me, Teddy, of course, he tries. I said, uh -huh. Teddy isn't in LA, you muppet. You have no idea, do you? And sent another insane amount of laughing emojis and showed him where he said it's 10, 23 a.m. So he went away, came back on the 8th of July, but my account had been banned. Hello! So this morning I went, what do you want? Which he's seen five hours ago, has probably gone to bed. We'll see if he comes back, so I won't delete that. So there you go. That was me, I guess, just poking the scammers a little bit this morning. I've got something else on the boil, um, scammer-wise, so don't worry, more videos coming and something probably a lot funnier. But, uh, yeah, that was just me poking the bear a little bit and calling him out. So like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, again, nothing burger of a um, video. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.